The Pursuer. The last pale stripes of the lights were fading quickly behind the city's expense that evening. The street, still damp from the recent rain, glimmering thinly. The street lamps had yet to flicker to life, and the streets were hanging, suspended in the breathless, squinting moment between light and dark. I was on my way home from what had been a difficult job, leaving me exhausted and grim. I took long steps, my hands balled into fists, shoved deep in my pockets. It was chilly. Not a biting cold, but a murmuring one. A cold that sent its pallid hands lightly creeping along your skin. Whispers of touch that raised goosebumps, hair, and suspicion. I felt my heart rate quicken. My breathing became labored. I paused, eyes fluttering shut, and I heard the muted crunch of a single footstep behind me. Then, nothing. There was someone following me. I set off at a dead run, all springs and gears turning, and now there was no mistaking it. I most certainly had a pursuer. I didn't look back, I only ran. My feet slapped pavement hard, jarring. We ran together, my pursuer and I, a maniac high-staked stance, through the streets, back alleys, and over garbage cans. We finally reached my street. I jumped one-handed over a fence through the backyard and ran to my front stoop. I reached my front door, a mad scramble with the keys. I knew that if I could get to my basement before I was caught, I would be home free. I ran to my basement door, shoved it open, then tore down the stairs, jumping down the last two steps before hiding in the shadows. My pursuer slowly crept down the stairs to my basement, each foot fall descending him further into the murky gloom. A weak ray of light shining down the basement stairs allowed me to see my pursuer's hand brushing and feeling his way along the cold basement wall, searching for a light switch. I heard his every breath, ragged heavy and wet. As his hand met with the light switch, he quickly flicked it on. I watched as the man in the blue uniform stood frozen in terror as his gaze swept over the room. From the bloodstained walls to the gory freezer in the corner to what was left of my previous dinner on the surgical table. He didn't hear me creep up behind him, but he must have felt the throbbing bulge in my pants as I emptied a full syringe into the flesh of his neck. Well, officer, I whispered in the policeman's ear as his body went limp. Looks like you solved the case. A maniacal grin crept its way across my lips. <laughs>